Hi, this is Kosher Grandchild here coming to you live and today we're going to talk about J1 hardship waivers. We're going to talk about just how we got this one approved for Brazil. What you've been waiting for. First of all, I want to give you an update. It's taking 19 to 21 months to get an approval right now. It's in July 2019. Crazy times, but that's what it is. So don't wait because we get too many people who call us when it's too late. What you've been waiting for, how did this get approved? Well, we got this J1 hardship waiver approved because they're from Brazil, four nationals from Brazil, and was married to a US citizen. And he has a career, a long-standing career here in the United States with a very well-known company. He'd have to give all of that up if he went to Brazil. Now, who wants to give up that? You work here all your life, you work hard, and then because of the uh, you marry someone with a two-year rule, you have to leave. Well, USCIS agreed with us. We made a legal argument about that. You know, tied in all of the facts and whatnot, arguing career hardship and also the financial obligations. Also, they had gone through separation before, and they didn't want to go through that again. Who wants to be separated for two years of their life? That basically disrupts everything in the United States. If you're on a G1 visa, you know that. If you're here, you know, I need an I-601 waiver, then you know that too. And the requirements are very similar, although there are some differences with those two. So the bottom line is call us at 916-613-3553 to see if you qualify, because it just depends on a bunch of factors. There's not one factor that make or breaks a case typically. Typically, it's the totality of circumstances. It's the financial hardship, it's the career hardship, maybe it's a health issue as well. Maybe it's the political situation that's going on with the country at the time. And in Brazil, you know, there is a lot of crime there as well. So there are issues specific to Brazil as well that also helped with the J-1 waiver. So every case is different. Of course, it depends on what country you are from. I invite you to ask any questions and tune in next Thursday for our next live show on immigration and your questions. Thank you. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.